Your response for the last question is worth 16 points. Here are the basics of what you need to work on to prepare it. Also, please be sure to use the Grammarly Chrome extension so that you have no grammatical errors. Yes, spelling and punctuation count. This is for English class. Here are the basics of the prompt, examine rights of passage in three selections from this unit. Use character names and text details for support. For a perfect score, there is a breakdown of what the rubric says to target following. Ideas purpose clearly state main idea, right at the outset, the essay should present a clear thesis statement that articulates the main idea or purpose of discussing the rites of passage in the chosen texts. Relevance, make sure every paragraph and point made in the essay feeds back to the central idea or thesis, highlighting its relevance to the topic. Strong support, use cogent arguments and insights to back up the thesis throughout the essay. To achieve this, you might employ the tell M model. Tell M what you're going to say, say it, then tell M what you've said. This structure helps keep the thesis at the forefront throughout the response. Textual evidence-specific details include at least four specific examples or citations that directly reference the text. Character names mention the names of the characters involved in these rites of passage. Textual support use these examples to support the main idea or thesis of the essay. Conventions punctuation, capitalization, spelling, all of these should be consistently correct throughout the essay. Grammar, use varied sentence structures and ensure grammatical consistency to elevate the academic tone. To use an analogy, think of the essay as a meal. Your thesis is the main dish, the specific examples and details are the side dishes that complement the main dish, and the conventions are the presentation and seasoning. Each is important on its own, but together they create a complete, satisfying experience.